And why do the mountain ranges run parallel to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? Is that just a coincidence? Or Walt doesn't think the Atlantic Ocean was there. Once it shot up, it started eroding stuff like crazy. And so now there's no continent pushing down on the mantle. So now the mantle is going to rise. Continents are going to start sliding. So you got North America and South America sliding west. You got Africa and Europe sliding east. And they're going to keep sliding until they run out of water or need resistance. And that's why the mountain ranges are parallel to the Mid Atlantic <coughs> Ridge. They're parallel because they were started in the same spot and they're sliding in opposite directions. And they rose up. And it's twice as thick in the Rockies as in the Andes because it's, it slid over where the water shot up at one time. So those are twice as thick as those down there. Notice how the ridge disappears? This is Brian Nichols' animation of how our mountains form. Not over millions of years. And, and that's the force. How, what's the force for a mountain? Well, it's a sliding continent that needs resistance. These are 15 foot trees up here in Benison Canyon, up over in Colorado. These are compression cracks. If it was a tension crack pulling them apart, it would be, it would just crack a straight line and there'd be like, their tension would be released. But these are compression ones. These are mountains in British Columbia. There's no cracks in those. Those were soft, set up layers that got buckled during the compression period. So they were